Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the gubernatorial race in Kakamega County has come to an end. And finally, ODM has managed to stamp the authority in Kakamega County. It is totally painted blue, apart from the senator and the two ANC members of parliament. This was the only opportunity maybe, at least ANC was going to do some changes or bring a sense of control in Kakamega County through the governor. But Fernandez Barada, who is the ODM candidate, managed to gain 192,768 votes against the ANC candidate Cleophas Malala, the former senator, with 159,275, a difference of 33,493. So that is how the race has played in Kakamega County. And uh, some time back, when this uh, race was postponed by Wafula Chebukati, the senior counsel, Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi, said something, and this is what he tweeted the party that wins the presidential contest tomorrow will win the postponed governor race in Mombasa and Kakamega. But again, as we are speaking, in Mombasa, ODM has managed to stamp the authority. And finally, Abdul Swamad is the governor elect. So, Ahmed Nasir tweet has finally backfired so badly. Because ODM has managed to reclaim this seat. Remember, Kakamega has been a stronghold for ODM party. And Mombasa County is still ODM stronghold. So ODM has managed to get what it belongs to them. So senior counsel should tell Kenyans who, is, who was the rightful winner in the presidential race. Was it William Samoy Ruto or Raila Molo Dinga? Because going with what he tweeted, then definitely Raila Molo Dinga should have been the person whom Chebukati had to announce as the president-elect. Now, on this pagina today, we want to use this opportunity to check on some of the reasons why the people of Kakamega County dumped Cleophas Malala for Fernandez Barada. That is what we want to look into, but before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed, so my humble request Please consider subscribing so that any other time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and any other drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. First of all, I will start by congratulating both Cleophas Manala and Fernanda Baraza. Barada should be congratulating for doing a good job together with his running mate, Honorable Ayub Savula, the former Lugari member of parliament. They have done an amazing job for ODM party, but again, we still have to congratulate the current governor, <laughs> Governor Wikilif Ombeta Oparanya. But again, congratulate Senator Klofas Malala for a spirited fight because managing to get 159, that's almost. 160,000 votes in Kakamega. You cannot ignore such a person. In the future, if you plan very well and be in the right camp, you can get it right. And let me tell you here, if Fernandez, Fernandez Baraza was in ANC party and it happened that Manala is in ODM party, Manala was going to carry the day. So vice versa also. That one should be clear. You should know that. <laughs> and so it tells you that ODM as a party has their authority in Kakamega County. What are some of the reasons why Malala has failed in this election? Number one, in my view, Malala failed starting with the latest statement when they were campaigning in Kakamega County. Musalia Mudavadi, Senator Wetangula, and the Kenya Kwanza leaders were in Kakamega telling the electorate to vote for Senator Cleophas Malala as a gift or thanks to William Samai Ruto because Ruto is going to reward number one, Musalia Mudabad as Premium Cabinet Secretary and number two, Senator, Senator Wetangula as the Speaker of the National Assembly, the third most powerful person in this country. 
That is the message they were telling the electorate. What they forgot is that in Kakamega County, the people there voted for Raila Molo Dinka overwhelmingly. In as much as we know William Samuel got some votes, was it 200,000? Out of more than 800,000 registered voters. So what they forgot is that Raila commands number in Kakamega. So the people in Kakamega were still wailing. They were still nursing their wound. Because according to them, they believe that Raila should be their president. They still trust that rigging happened. The rightful winner is Raila Molodinga. So for you to tell them to vote for Malala as a gift or a thanks to William Samoy Ruto was a total insult to the electorate in Kakamega County. This is still an ODM stronghold. So hapo ndi walianguka mara ya kwanza. Secondly, when Malala gets to campaign in Kakamega County, what he forgot was that there is low matrix in Kakamega politics. Anyone who understands Kakamega politics will appreciate that at least 30% of the people voting in Kakamega, they are Luos. We have a good number of Luos in Kakamega County. Don't bury your head in the sand. If you appreciate this, then you need to have some wisdom on how you can tap into this electorate. And by doing so, you will need to understand the influence of Raila Molodinga in Western Region politics or Kakamega. And in that way, you have to avoid going head on on Raila Molodinga when you are campaigning. Manala forgot this. He was mocking Raila in Kakamega County. And he decampaigned Raila Molodinga rather than focusing on what he need in Kakamega County. So, the Luos in Kakamega cannot vote for you if you go into that direction. <laughs> and already, in this election, Marala was going into it when he has already lost 30%. Besides this, there is another matrix of the people who have intermarried in Kakamega County between Luos and Luyas. So if you add that, that matrix will change up to 40%. So we have people who have their uncles at the other side. It's either Niwajalo ama Niwaluya. We have people who have their, their, their aunt from the other side, their grandmothers, the in-laws. They have crossed. It's either in Western or in Nyanza region. So if you put that together also, there are people who will feel that, you know, abusing Raila Odinga is wrong for them because they believe he is their leader. That was my one naive intermarriage. Malala failed to understand that. And already, he had lost 40% of Kakamega County when he was going into this campaign. Number three, the choice of a running mate. Fernandez Barada coming from corporate world. He could not do better if he did not have a strong politician who will be campaigning with him on ground. And for that matter, Oparanya in his own wisdom decided to reach out to Raila Monodinga and convince the Lugare member of parliament, Honorable Ayubu Savula, to drop his bid for the governor and just be a running mate to Fernandez Baraza. They managed that. And Ayubu Savula decided to agree with them. So he backed Fernandez Barada. Ayub Savola is a politician with a reputation, a man who has served for two terms. <laughs> and uh, he was deputy party leader of ANC party, for those who remember. So the structure of ANC leadership in Kakamega County, Savola was a good man. He had captured all the structures. So when he moved to DAP before he got to ODM, he was moving with the ANC structures. And so he moved with the structure to ODM party. Now bring in the matrix of Lugare. Remember, in Kakamega, the popular constituencies, we talked about Malava, and we talked about Lurambi, and we talked about Lugare. So Lugare is among the three key constituencies that you cannot assume in Kakamega where you are looking to become made a governor, a senator, or a woman rep. You have to consider those. So, Already, 
the Azimio side was getting it right. If you go to Malala side, the person Malala chose as his running mate, Mama Inyangala. Inyangala is coming from a same area with Malala, but she got married to another constituency, Kabaras. So Kabaras ni wengi. But now, uyu tu ameenda kuwaleka huko. But if you trust, you find that he is an aunt to Malala. But not a politician also. Now a person was coming from corporate world. So that means, in as much as he has also come from popular constituency, ni Malala mani wapi, I think so. She couldn't convince or command numbers from home. That alone also has imechangia kwa kuangusha Malala in Kakamega count. And number four, over trusting the youth. Senator Kilofas Malala trusted the youth too much and he forgot the factor or the matrix of women and the men. The, the, the wazes wa mama na wa baba. The old men and the women. And it's how that constituency and in elec election you go to in Kenya, the most trusted constituency, it is the women and the elders in the society. These are the people, if you treat them well, you appeal to them and work with them, you will have their vote. But once you fail that, then definitely prepare for a resounding defeat. And that is exactly what has happened to Malala. Malala neglected the women factor, he neglected the elders, but he was moving with the wave of the youth. And that is what has changed. The 33,000 Fernandez Baraza has defeated Malala with is the women and the elder constituency in Kakamega County. When you naona, ah, we are Nakibia and Vijana Hapa, we cannot trust him. So we better go for a person that we can trust. So the win for Fernandez Baraza can be attributed to, number one, Raila Molo Dinga, number two, Governor Paranya, and number three, Ayub Savula, and the Good Spirited Campaign. That's my view. Put on the comment section so that you can also tell me what you think about this. See you in our next video.